Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Okay, so we are again approaching Valentine's Day. So another Valentine's Day painting for us today. This one is super simple, super fun, and really a great idea to do if you're going to have any sort of Valentine's Day party, paint party, or sip and paint type event with friends or a loved one or your family or just yourself. Uh, so this one is called Tree of Hearts and I have my three standard brushes as per usual for this painting. So I have a large square brush, a medium sized pointed brush and a small detail brush, getting those in my water cup off of the screen. If you would like to see a more detailed materials list with all the brands that I recommend, go ahead and check the description box below. There'll be a link to take you to my site and it'll take you to a materials page and show you everything that you need to paint along each week. Okay, let's go ahead and start with our big brush. You wanna have a little bit of water always on that brush, okay? A little bit of water with acrylic paint. And then I'm going to start with a light blue. So just blue and white together. And we're going to create a really fun background here using up and down brush strokes. So we're gonna be kind of stripey with this background. And just get the brush going up and down here. So we're gonna take this beautiful sky blue first. We're gonna do a fair amount of our canvas Again, I have a little bit of water. Taking some white over to my blue and then just stripes of that light blue up and down. Starting really simple today with this painting. If you're painting along today, I would like to invite you to join the art club, which is a group that I made for my students to share their work, whether it be from painting along with me on Saturdays or just from your own studio or creativity. I'd love to see it. We'd love to have you over there. Check the description box below for a link to join. It's totally free. Just, you know, something to do on Facebook. Okay. And then mostly blue here and once I get it maybe about 80% filled in I'm gonna have some fun with some other colors so you can start perhaps with a dark blue very pretty I guess that's kind of more of a vibrant blue smooth up and down brush strokes a little bit of dark blue here and there you want to have the entire canvas filled in with color when we're done with our background step today. That looks nice. Now I'm going to play around with a little bit of black in my blue and create a little bit of a navy. And in fact, I think I'll add a little bit of white as well and tone it down a bit so I get a beautiful steely blue color. And this is such a fun and relaxing background to do. We're going for kind of like sky colors, but also a little bit abstract, perhaps. A little bit stylized. Okay, looks good just here and there. Blending those colors together, don't be shy. I'm gonna rinse my brush. I think I'd like to go in with a little bit of really light blue now, almost white, into kind of some of the remaining areas here. Okay, and you can either have it look kind of stripey, or you can really blend the colors into each other. And that's totally up to you. And honestly, they both look good. So no worries there, no stressing out. Okay, that's looking really nice. A little bit of that super light blue over here. Okay, and now I think a little bit of teal as an accent color. So I just took a little bit of that phthalo green, mixed it in with my white. I 
think I actually kind of want two tones of this. So I'm going to start with a pretty vibrant one. Ooh, love that color. Very pretty. Just blending it in there. Very nice. That's just an accent color, so just here and there. And then a lighter version of that as well. So pretty. Some of my favorite colors today for this background. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. You can add any other colors that you'd like. Make a beautiful stripey up and down composition here and then once you have it all filled in we're going to step away for a bit and let this dry and we'll come back with a whole bunch more so i'll see everyone in a few okay welcome back artists i have a dry background here and fresh colors on my piece of palette paper i'm going to be making a brown for my tree so i have blue and orange which is my favorite way to make brown and I tone that down a little bit as well and then I have black and white and red I rinsed my brushes and got clean water at break as well so let's hop in with the tree now and I'm going to use my medium sized brush for that and I'm going to make a brown so keep in mind too that you can just buy brown right out of the bottle if you need but I find it pretty easy to take orange, go across the color wheel here with a little bit of blue, and then tone it down a little bit with some gray. You can even add a little bit of red to it as well. You'll usually get a pretty nice neutral brown about like so. Mostly orange. Okay, and now let's darken it just a little bit. Now I'm going to take this brown and from the bottom part of my canvas here, I'm going to create the first part here of my tree. A little bit of water always into that paint. So I'm going to pretty much center the tree today. And I'm going to start by doing just two little brush strokes coming up like that for the base of the tree, for the trunk there. And now I'm going to start creating some swirls. And pretty much each one you want to end in that pretty sort of dual swirl shape, like so. And then you can even do one more coming from the top if you'd like. And then you want to have thicker branches as you come down towards the base. And you get to make your tree however you like. You wanna make sure and space out the spirals though, and not get them too close to one another because these spirals are what we, going, are, what we are going to hang our little hearts on. Okay, I'm just being gentle here, just using the tip of the brush and thickening each branch as it gets to the base. Lovely. I like the contrast of the brown with the blue here. You can have one going from the top too, but I think I'm actually going to go over here and have a nice big spiral. I prefer to have my tree be asymmetrical. You can have a symmetrical tree if you would like as well. I think that would also probably look really pretty. Make sure and join the art club so that you can post your art because I'd love to see everyone's different trees that they come up with. Okay, looking good. I'm just filling that base now, getting my tree all filled in with that base color. I think I'll have one come from kind of the middle. Again, being mindful of sort of where I'm going to hang these hearts from the tree. Already kind of thinking ahead, planning it out. Okay, that looks good. 
And then let's have one more come from the top here. Maybe end like so. And how about a nice spiral that way? So easy and fun to build trees this way. That's looking pretty good to me. Very whimsical. I've done a tree sort of like this before, only it was a silhouette for the Mother's Day painting. It was also sort of off center. These are really versatile. There's a lot of different ways to paint trees. It's something that I often paint. It's one of my favorite things in the world, trees. <laughs> Okay, and a few little additional swirls here and there, if you'd like as well. Super cute. Okay, that looks good to me. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of white and I'm going to make up a beige. And I'm not even really uh, rinsing my brush in between colors here. I don't need to because I'm gonna have a little bit of wet on wet blending here in these branches. How pretty is that? All right, just blending the beige through the ends here of the tree, the little spirals, and then bringing it down through the base as well. It's possible that your tree is a little bit dry. And in that case, you may need to grab a little bit of the base color, the darker color there, and kind of go back and forth. There we go. Very pretty, really makes those branches pop. And gives them a little bit of dimension and depth. So pretty. Okay. There we go. Oh, I like that. All right, that looks about right to me. A little bit in each of those little areas. And then bringing it down into the trunk of the tree. You want to have a few little stripes there. And that lighter color. Look at how pretty that is looking. Just gonna refine that a little bit right there, okay? And now let's take some black and we're just going to do some outlining here of our tree as well. You don't want to be too perfectionistic here. Just kind of getting the shadow onto these branches so that they again really just pop and there's some nice contrast. Doesn't even need to be both sides either. It can be just one side of these branches when they are kind of spiraling out the little tendrils there. I am going to make sure and have a nice shadow on either side here of the base of my tree so that it's nice and defined. There we go. And then just taking that black into the branches as well, adding some more dimension looking really pretty. Very nice. Oops, a little bit too much black. As always, a little bit of water blended into that paint, always keeping it nice and smooth. When I'm working with black in this way, with my acrylic paintings, I kind of like to think of the paint as being the consistency of ink. This is almost like a pen type effect. I love to paint with watercolors and do a little bit of pen and ink on top. That's a really fun way to colorize as well. So a little bit of that style here today. Okay, that's looking very nice. Just accentuating those curves of the tree. Okay, I'm bringing the shadow down into the trunk as well. 
trying to be smooth and graceful with my brush strokes. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. And now just a tiny bit of white. We're just gonna do a little bit of a highlight in each of these areas as well. That's gonna be our final little element here in our tree before we start to decorate our tree with some beautiful hearts. Okay, so we're kind of balancing that black that we just added and breaking up that brown so it's not just one solid color. There we go. A little bit in each area. How fun and simple. Lots of different tones in that tree. You could even do a different color tree. You could do a black tree or a gray tree. Okay. And if the colors blend a little bit, no big deal. That's kind of what we want. That's why we're doing this wet on wet type effect with these brush strokes. Just a little bit of highlights here and there. All right. And right there. And then also a little bit of white, just like everything else here in the trunk of the tree. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and start on our hearts. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of white. It wants to go over there, so that's fine with me. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna start by creating the strings that the hearts are hung in. So this is sort of like, you know, like a Christmas tree only, it's a Valentine's Day tree was my idea up there. Uh, so I'm going to go through the middle of each of these little curves. I'm going to bring a white line down as straight as I can. Now, if your brown is still really wet, you may pull it into the white and you don't wanna do that. So if that starts to happen, just go ahead and stop. And it might need to be a little bit disjointed and that's okay. And you can have them go from behind as well like that. But we're kind of just tracing the areas of where we're going to have our hearts hanging. So if you have kind of a faint white line right now, that's fine and good. I'm bringing it down so that it's into an area where there's space for a heart. Okay, so very much like we are decorating our own little Christmas tree. So this little area is wet, like I was saying. So I might do a little brush stroke like that and then kind of wipe off my brush and then bring it further down and just being mindful to not pull through that wet paint. Okay, I think I'll bring this one a little bit further down. Hmm, you gotta decide, you gotta be your own little tree decorator can go from the top part of the curve kind of anywhere I'm gonna bring this one all the way down to here so again eyeballing where can I put one of those little hearts where would that fit nicely so I went over right in the middle right there that looks pretty good to me and kind of one dead center again just going through that top part just so we know where to go but then not pulling that brown down just a little white line okay we want our tree to be somewhat balanced so i'm being mindful of putting about the same amount of little decorations on this side as i have the other side like so kind of stepping back sometimes from my work don't want to get too close to your work quite literally okay this one will be kind of short pretty low to the ground see so I pulled a little bit of brown there it's not that big of a deal because it's not that dark but we still want to try to be mindful of that and then let's see one from right here will be cute Nice. Let's see. I'm go kind of dead center right there on that one. 
and maybe even one right there and one up high however you like super cute okay now we're going to paint the hearts and i'm going to use first just red as is right out of the bottle and i'm going to do sort of long hearts i think that looks really cool sort of again more stylized you kind of make them long rather than fat they look cute both ways and up here as well and i'm going to leave some spaces because i'm going to come back with a light pink as well so we're going to have pink and red hearts we're doing a very classic valentine's day composition today and it's okay if your hearts are a little bit wonky that makes them look extra cute okay and then coming over to this side as well leaving some space over here for some light pink hearts too so it's kind of more of a classic heart shape but you can kind of adjust as you're filling these in i'm gonna make that guy a little bit longer like so nice and you can have some smaller and some bigger. Make sure you get a lot of paint in there so that it's a nice vibrant red. Okay, very, very cute. Super simple and fun. Okay. There we go. And now let's do a light pink, just red and white together, really easy. Make sure that you go light enough so that it's different enough from that bright red. And I'm going to kind of stagger these. So this one, I want to come up a little bit higher. You don't necessarily want them to end right at the same spot. I think it looks better to have them a little bit staggered. That one's a little bit smaller, and that's okay. Light pink and red little hearts. So cute. Like a Valentine's Day tree full of Valentine's. How cute would that be? If like each one of these little hearts were a card or something, just picturing in real life. <laughs> Okay, and how pretty does that look? All right, I'm gonna do a fairly big one up here to kind of balance everything out. Like so. Making them more on the long side. There we go. And one more kind of medium size one down here. And small one up above and look at us we're on the home stretch everything is looking very pretty very nice okay now i'm going to rinse my brush and i'm going to go in with black and i'm going to outline these hearts so this is an opportunity to make a nice neat Heart as much as possible and we're taking our time here the first time I did this painting I had a lot of hearts that took me quite a long time but time does fly when you're having fun so it certainly wasn't you know a bad way to spend my time however I made it a little bit simpler today and I like how it's turning out. There we go. I was also using my very tiny brushes. Today I have a not quite as tiny, tiny brush. And it certainly makes the going a lot quicker. Like so. So cute. 
around each one here, trying to be as neat as possible. Just kind of working my way from one side of the tree to the other here. Very nice. Like so. All right. You want to resist the urge to go over it too many times. So the more times that you go over something with a black outline, it's more likely that it'll get really thick. So keep in mind too, that if you do go a little bit too thick with your outline, you can get everything with a second coat in just a minute. Okay, so we're gonna do a second coat of those bright colors. It's just gonna make everything look even more neat and make those colors pop. Okay, almost done here with my outlining. So cute, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. And now, just like I was saying, I'm gonna go back in here with a little bit, especially of this red, and just get a second layer in there. I just think it makes the color look even just more vibrant. And then you can also sort of balance if you got too thick with that outline. So that's a really good trick there, especially if you're a beginner painter. You don't have to get it right the first time, it's okay. With acrylic paints, you can go over and over and over paintings again and again and again. A lot of my paintings that I do for practice are just painted over old paintings completely. So there's no such thing as a permanent accident, I suppose, when it comes to acrylic paintings. You can always paint over it. Okay, nice bright red there. Very pretty, nice. But I'm gonna grab a little bit of white. I'm gonna go in each of those little red hearts that I just went and add just a tiny little highlight. And it's okay if it blends into the red. It's kind of what we want. Nice, vibrant, little shiny heart. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing in our pink hearts. Any areas that you feel like might need a second coat of paint, again, just with that blue background, there might be some areas that are not quite the opacity that you want. So that's a nice, again, little trick there. Adding a second coat on. There we go. Just a little bit here and there. Home stretch, everyone. Last couple steps here. Okay, and now a little white shine mark in each of those hearts as well. So pretty, so simple, and fun. Okay, just a little curve brush stroke, like so. And then you can also take some clean white if you have any left. <laughs> and Go over those little white ribbons again. And just make sure you have a nice clean white line. Okay, and that is the final step of today's painting. Just kind of cleaning things up here and there. And then also covering up any beige that you might have created by pulling through that brown of your tree. Look at how pretty that looks with the different layers. So nice. This is a great Valentine's Day painting, I think. Let me know what you thought of how it turned out in the comment section below. And I would love to see you over in the art club. And that is all the instruction that I have for everyone today. So please hit like if you liked this painting and until next time, Stay creative.